Hey guys, Lewis here again. Welcome back to my channel. So on this video, I'm going to show you guys again how to do product research for your Amazon FBA business. But before I start, I want to invite you guys again to join my free VIP Amazon group where I do my free weekly coaching calls. And it's also a good place for Amazon sellers like you to network with, with other sellers. So with that said, this is how you guys turn this off. Um, how you guys look for products for Amazon FBA business, right? So if you guys haven't seen my seller and, and keep of videos, I would I'll probably post the links below too, so you guys can check it out. But um, yeah, I do use seller and keep of with my product research, and I usually start with the Amazon link, right? Amazon link and the supplier link. And when I say supplier, I usually mean retailers like Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Lowe's, Sam's Club, Walgreens. So for this instance, right? The product is a six piece food storage set from Target and the price on Target is $26.99. So we, we plug in this number here under cost. So it's $26.99, right? The cost and the selling price on Amazon is this amount, which is $53. So as you guys can see here, the sales per month is 1,326. But this one is a variation. So if you guys see V here, it means variation. So what you guys do is you guys go, <clears throat> excuse me, to the variations tab or um, yeah, tab here on seller amp. You pick the exact variation right there and then click on check. And then as you guys can see this exact variation, which is the spring mix uh, is getting 11% of the sales, right? So now we take 11% of this number because 11% of the sales is going to this variation, right? So 11%, so one, three, two, six times 0.11. So that's about 145, excuse me, 145 sales a month right there. Um, and now you're, you're going to have to, you're going to have to decide if you guys want to share 145 sales a month with these other sellers. So to me, it looks good, right? Um, there's enough sales a month to share with other sellers with this much inventory and our ROI is at 20, 20%. And then from here, we usually go to Keepa. So so everything looks good here, except that Amazon was on the listing previously. So Amazon used to be on this listing, right? Right there, if you guys can see here. So Amazon was here in the past. Um, actually, as recent as February 7th, so last week. Well, it's at the time of, of when I shot this video last week. <clears throat> but yeah, Amazon was on the listing. And Amazon was pricing this product at $27. So to me, there's some risk to this because if you guys plug it here, right? If Amazon comes back on the listing and they price it at 28 bucks, you're going to be at a negative ROI, right? So everything looks good here for this product except this one. This one to me is pretty concerning because... I don't want to buy products, right, and get on this listing, and then Amazon decides to go back to this listing, and then drops and, and then drops the price at twenty seven dollars, right? Yeah, so they've been on this listing the whole year, right, and they were pricing this at twenty seven dollars. So, yeah, so depending on how risky you want to be, as of today, this is a good product because. At the current price, right, of $53, again, you're getting a 28% ROI. But the concern is that when Amazon goes back on the listing, you're going to be at a loss. So that's going to be up to you. Um, it's your money, so that's going to be up to you to decide, right? So next product is Zequil Sleep Aid. Um, so this one is... On Sam's Club. 
right, for $17.98. And also on Rakuten is giving you an additional 8% off. So I would put 17. Hmm. It's kind of lagging. Oh, man. So $17.98, right? Right there. Let's see. Yeah, $17.98. Cashback of 8%. Just keep that in mind because we're going to add that number onto Selling Amp. So, let's see. Hmm, okay. So the concern here is... <clears throat> So it's selling at 110 cents a month, right? Which is pretty decent. And then we should add 8% on here also. Well, there's no 8%, so I'll do 10%. So this one is okay. The only issue is we're starting off, there's other sellers, right? That are pricing this product at $32, which gives you a 10% ROI. I mean, unless you want to price here, at this current price, I mean, the buy box price is currently at this number at $35. It's going to give you a 25% ROI. So, I mean, I think this is a decent product. Um, some sellers are pricing this very low. Well, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you're okay with pricing this at this price, right, and, and taking a risk there, then it, um, it works. So I think this is um, a, a pretty okay product. And then the price is pretty good. It goes up and up and up. It's going up. And then seller seller count, I mean, it's pretty stable, right? So it was stable here, and then, up, then down here. It was going up and down a little bit. Same here, but then recently it's been staying at like 15, 15 people. So... Yeah, this was going to be a tough one. And again, it's going to be up to you, of course. But um, yeah, this one is 110 cells a month. I mean, everything is okay except the, you know, this first seller is selling this at $32. So you're starting this off at a negative ROI. Um, yeah, so let's just call this one decent. And. Yeah, hope you guys got value, value from my video. And again, um, I'm going to post the link in my description below on how you guys can join my free weekly Amazon calls. Um, it's also a group where you guys can network with other sellers. And yeah, again, I'm, I'm going to post it on my description below. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.